He, he, it was he who wrote this stunning letter in May 1919 to the London Evening News and it came to the eye of the King, King George V. And George V made a national proclamation which stands to this day that the dead of, uh, of the First World War and com all other conflicts would be recognised in the holding of two minute silence. That proclamation is a little bit draconian in that it suggests everything will stop. Well, of course, in our modern world, that isn't possible. But in those days, it was a complete, total silence and everything stopped. And even as a child, I know I'm old, but I'm not that old, um, I can remember the traffic stopping. Uh, but of course, that well, it would be carnage now if we did that. Uh, and our lifestyles are so different. Uh, and it is true to say that remembrance in some ways um, has it's slipped into our, our national culture as a tradition but is not perhaps held with the fervour and respect that some of us hold it with. Uh, although there does seem now to be a revival because as, um, as the horror of the Second World War fades, uh, more people are becoming interested in it because it can be more palatable and therein lies danger. But yes, this is the man who introduced the two minute silence. And um, for the first time that I've known, he's actually enjo he enjoyed that two minute silence on Remembrance Sunday. So thank you to all of you. It's the first time. Thank you.